Okay, in this video we are back on programming the MC614 regulator and this time we are going to be taking a look at what we call the hierarchical menu. And this regulator has five menu items in that structure. So the first menu item is called BA and what BA represents is the gateway into setting our base battery type. This one is set for gel right now. The next hierarchical menu item is BEL. And BEL represents belt load manager. And belt load manager can be used to accommodate a belt that's too small to handle the load or an alternator that's too small to handle the load. By reducing the max field potential, the alternator won't heat up as much because it's not running at full bore. The next item in the hierarchical menu is DSP. And DSP stands for display. And all we're doing there is we're, we have the opportunity to change the scrolling display here from short to long. Very simple. You have the choice of SD or LD in that menu item. The next hierarchical menu item is represented by the letters DSP and it is a stator advisory. It lets you know the state of the stator. Um, is it on? Is it off? Is it not working? So that menu item is either an on or off setting. The final hierarchical menu item is represented by three dashes. And those three dashes, if we touch and hold there, and we allow it to scroll up to AP5 and release, that's going to get us into our advanced programming menu. But that will be in the next video. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to walk you through the hierarchical display. Now, the key thing here is when we're setting our base battery type, we can press and hold and continue to press and hold when PRO shows up. And then it will continue right into BA and we can change our battery type. But we don't want to do that right now because we've already set the base battery type for gel. And if we change the battery type, we wipe out all our settings below it. So what I'm going to do is show you how this is done. So we press and hold. PRO comes up, we're going to release. And now we see BA. Ignore that. We've already set battery type. So don't touch there. BEL. Okay, we're going to change belt load manager. Right now it's set at 7, but I want it at 4. So we're going to let that hierarchical menu item scroll around until we get to belt load manager level 4. When we get there, I'm just going to release. Belt load manager 4, release. And we will go back right into display mode. DSP, press and hold. I want it set for short display. For doing a video like this, the long display is too long. So I'm going to leave it at SD. Release. You can press and hold and it will scroll back and forth between those two. BDL, stator advisory mode. I'm just going to leave this at off, but I'm going to press and hold. You can see that we could release it on and we're going to release it off. And here are our three dashes. If we want to enter into advanced programming mode, which everyone with one of these regulators should, we're going to press and hold at the three dashes and allow that to scroll to AP5. Release. If you wanted to continue into advanced programming, which we will see in the next video, you would wait till PRA comes up and then you can start changing those menu items. So the key thing here with the hierarchical menu items, those five areas, is that by pressing and releasing at PRO, we don't have to go through every single step. We can simply press release at PRO, PRO, and then wait for that hierarchical menu item that you want to change. For example, if, like we just did, all you wanted to change was belt load manager. You simply release it pro, wait for BEL to come up, touch the magnet, 
and then set BEL and release it. Once you release it, just let it scroll through three times and it will save your changes. You can do the same thing with advanced settings. The key is that you don't have to go through everything every time. So I hope that helps. In the next video, we're going to look at advanced programming.